At Apple, we're always looking for ways to advance the performance of our portable products. Battery technology and design was one of those areas that we saw the opportunity for some really key advancements. For the new MacBook Pro family, we've designed our longest lasting batteries ever. They last up to seven hours on the 13 and 15 inch models and up to eight hours on the 17 inch model on a single charge. And they can be recharged up to a thousand times. And we've done this without adding to the size or weight of the notebooks. In the process, we've built a more environmentally friendly computer. The key to building a long-lasting battery is making it bigger. A bigger battery with more capacity means longer battery life. When we design a portable product, every tenth of a millimeter is precious. The challenge of designing a bigger battery is where to find the space to put it. We found that when you design for a removable battery, there's a lot of wasted space. A lot of that space and volume is used for mechanisms, structure, battery compartment, even removable doors. By embedding the battery and removing all the infrastructure associated with a removable battery, we were able to create notebooks with much bigger batteries and much longer battery life at the same size and weight. In the case of Apple, we have scientists, chemists, engineers that are dedicated to battery development. So we're able to build batteries that are custom designed for the computers that they're going to go into. Battery life is really just a simple matter of how much energy you can store in the computer. When you open up a notebook computer from a lot of our competition, you'll see cylindrical cells that are like AA batteries that you can buy. There's a lot of empty space in there. That's space that you could use for storing energy. And so by creating custom-shaped cells that we have in our batteries, you can fill all of the space much more effectively than you can with cylindrical shapes. You can also customize it to be all kinds of different sizes, and that's what we do. To make our batteries extremely thin, we use lithium polymer technology. We start with these very large sheets of tissue-like foil, and you coat those with the active material that stores the energy for the battery. In our case, it's an advanced chemistry that extends the lifespan of the cells are three times the industry standard. Then they're wound together into an electrode roll. And then this roll is compressed into the correct shape just to our precise dimensions. We go very deep into the design of a battery and cell engineering. You won't find that anywhere else in the computer industry. In addition to advanced chemistry, one of the breakthroughs of our battery design is the concept of adaptive charging. This actually reduces the wear and tear on the battery as we charge it. With these new technologies, we're able to achieve up to a thousand recharges, and that's more than three times the recharges of a typical notebook battery. How the industry charges is taking these lithium ion cells, okay, putting them into a system, charging them at a constant voltage until they're full, and then they stop. That can wear out a battery prematurely. What we did was we have a chip within the battery that talks to each one of the individual cells and reports back on its state to the system. And the system goes back and adjusts the current accordingly. The batteries in the new MacBook Pro family offer nearly three times the number of recharges and nearly three times the battery lifespan compared to the industry standard. We're always looking for ways to make our products greener. From an environmental perspective, the MacBook Pro family is a real breakthrough. They're free of many of the harmful toxins found in other computers. They can run on less than half the power of a single light bulb. And they're made from highly recyclable aluminum and glass. But we also take it one step further. Because this battery can recharge up to a thousand times, its lifespan is extended up to five years. That means a lot less batteries will end up in landfills. At Apple, we constantly strive to create the thinnest and lightest products we can design. And often this has led us to the very forefront of battery technology. We've thought about how do you accomplish this really far out goal of being able to get a useful day's worth of work done on a single battery charge? And how do you create a design where the battery can last for years and years? And we think we finally come up with a convergence of technologies that makes that dream that we've been pursuing for a long time really possible.